In the US, sales of vehicles with the Land Cruiser badge were never very strong. When the new 300 series was introduced, Toyota decided not to sell the Land Cruiser in the United States because the 200 series was the last model to be marketed, and its sales never truly met the company's expectations. The Land Cruiser nameplate, however, has been linked to recent rumors that the United States is getting it back. Speculation that the venerable SUV may be preparing to make a comeback to North America is being fueled by photos of a Toyota Land Cruiser that was photographed in the US Sporting Illinois manufacturer license plates. A transporter containing a single 2023 Land Cruiser GR Sport, two Jeep Wranglers, and a BMW M4 was seen pulling it. The conspicuous GR branding and part red interior may be seen in close-up photos. Toyota is aware of the meaning behind the name and believes that with a few changes, the Land Cruiser might do exceptionally well in a nation that enjoys off-road vehicles. The Prado has been mentioned in rumors thus far as a potential Land Cruiser that the United States will acquire. But according to recent rumors, a much more intriguing model would soon arrive in America. And let's check that in today's episode. Why was the Land Cruiser never popular in the United States? It is very clear why Land Cruiser sales haven't been particularly strong in the United States. You know, when the first Land Cruiser was introduced, it was a vehicle designed for utility. A war-winning, rudimentary workhorse that could traverse continents. The car in America grew bigger and more extravagant as the years went by. The majority of the world, though, continued to receive basic trim levels or more sturdy alternatives, such as the 70 Series vehicle. As a result, the Land Cruiser spirit survived. Toyota has now made the decision to only sell the Land Cruiser as a luxury SUV in the US. As a result of this development, the Land Cruiser found itself in direct rivalry with vehicles like the Range Rover and the Mercedes G-Wagon. While the Land Cruiser was undoubtedly competent in terms of driving qualities and features, it fell short in terms of brand perception. The majority of customers who spend over $100,000 on an SUV want the company that built it to reflect the price. As a result, they frequently choose luxury vehicles like Range Rovers, Mercedes, or Lexus. In this particular market and at that price point, very few people will go for a Toyota. In other words, the Land Cruiser was improperly positioned in the American auto market. But things might be about to change. Why the rumored Prado isn't the right Land Cruiser to sell in the United States? There have been rumors that the Prado model of Land Cruiser will be arriving in the United States. In case you weren't aware, the Prado is a scaled-down version of the Land Cruiser that is available in the majority of the world however not in the United States. Its underpinnings are quite similar to those of the 4Runner, but it is almost identical to the Lexus GX. This is the biggest deterrent to the Prado entering the United States. If so, Toyota will sell the Prado, a vehicle that is nearly identical to the Lexus GX and 4Runner. It delivers the same features, has comparable hardware, and costs about the same. As a result, because all three cars will be in the same section, the relocation would be pointless. Therefore, the obvious question is, if the Prado isn't the best option, what is? The cars that the US market prefers. Let's look at the popular 4x4s on the American market before we reveal some intriguing rumors. Jeep Wrangler, Jeep Gladiator, Ford Bronco, Toyota 4Runner, and Toyota Tacoma are a few of the most well-known examples. What features do each of these cars share? Furthermore, they have excellent off-road performance and are a perfect fit for the lifestyle market. They have a hip and distinctive appearance that frequently evokes the idea of an outdoor enthusiast. The correct term here is, character, because these cars stand out from the crowd and aren't just another SUV or truck like the sophisticated Lexus GX. The FJ Cruiser is possibly a prime illustration of this. Although on the surface it was radically different, Below it was extremely close to a Prado from the 120 series. Buyers fell in love with it because of its classic appearance and eccentric interior. As far as the new Land Cruiser is concerned, we think Toyota may go in this direction. Is it smarter to build a version of the iconic 70 series Land Cruiser? The 70 series Land Cruiser is mainly used for business purposes where it is sold. It is a basic, unadorned Land Cruiser with sturdy front and rear axles and little in the way of modern electronics. It is a vehicle made to handle rough terrain and survive abuse. Now that purchases desire additional amenities, the 70 series won't sell well in the US in its current form. The 70 may become a hit right away, though, with a few tweaks. Let's look at the two options that are feasible. 
The first option is that the current 70, which is rumored to undergo revisions soon and make its comeback to the Japanese market, would be modified and shipped to the US. The vehicle for the USDM market might be built on a 70 series chassis, which means it would have solid front and back axles. However, it might also come with alternative engines to suit the needs of the American market. There may be more amenities and comforts inside. It will still be simple, though. Recall that off-road enthusiasts will only buy the Land Cruiser if the pricing is comparable to that of the 4Runner. The first choice is feasible, but it might be a little overly optimistic. What then do we have as a backup plan? In any case, we think that the next Land Cruiser might be the FJ Cruiser's spiritual successor in some ways. It will likely use the same platform as the 2024 Tacoma and the forthcoming 4Runner, although the exterior might be designed with retro-styled round headlights and boxy proportions. The Land Cruiser is more suitable for off-roading than the 4Runner because customers are likely to receive a cabin that is more basic inside. Probably auxiliary switches can be included as well, and this new model could even include off-road features like front and rear lockers, which would make it quite powerful. What makes it different from the 4Runner? The 4Runner's continued success in sales is the one area in which Toyota needs to exercise the utmost caution. Sales of the 4Runner could be negatively impacted by the addition of a Land Cruiser, but if done right, we think it is possible to distinguish the two cars without any difficulty. In contrast to the Land Cruiser, which might directly compete with the Wrangler and Bronco, the 4Runner will be the off-road vehicle that is more geared toward families. An automobile intended for challenging off-road use and trips. The Land Cruiser may compete with the Wrangler and Bronco, which are now more capable off-road vehicles than the 4Runner, by utilizing the classic styling and off-road equipment like lockers and bigger tires. Thus, the Toyota lineup will include the capable yet more family-oriented 4Runner and the full-on vintage off-roader that resembles the 70 series yet rides on a more modern platform and is capable of tackling large trips or the most difficult terrain in the nation. In terms of trim levels, we already know that there will be a launch edition, a base edition, and a top-of-the-line model something akin to a TRD Pro. There will only be a single four-cylinder engine option. It's most likely the same hybrid engine that powers the Grand Highlander and Crown Sedan, which has about 360 horsepower. This concludes our knowledge of the impending US Land Cruiser. We are eager to witness it, however we are also a little uneasy because Toyota needs to make some significant adjustments if it wants to compete successfully in the market for off-road vehicles. According to rumors, the brand new Land Cruiser for America could arrive as soon as January 2024. If so, the time before we learn more shouldn't be too long. We'll just have to wait and see. Having said that, what is your wild guess? Do you think it will be based on the Prado, or the 4Runner, or the Tacoma? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.